Dear students, next we have combination of lenses. Consider two lenses in contact having common principal axis. Then an object, whatever the type of object, it will be a taller object or it will be a point object. In both cases, suppose we have a taller object of this height and second we have a point object at this point or at this point as well. Clear? Now we are doing this condition by using this tool. When the light is traveling parallel to the principal axis of both the lenses, what is happening? So answer is for the first case, it conserves or refracts towards the other. It is clear. Now, if the other lens is not in contact with it, then we observe that at this point, let's say I dash, the image is formed by lens 1. It is clear or not? Okay. But because the lens 1 in front of the refracted ray of lens 2, then it will again conserve and intersect at the principal axis at R. It is clear or not? Now, this is distance of object which is at O in front of both the lenses. Second, distance of image formed by the second one is V dash, okay? And the image formed by the first lens is behave like the object for the second lens, clear? Therefore, this is V dash is distance of object for the second lens and the image formed by the second lens of this object at O is let's see V. It is clear or not? Now, this is the situation and we are doing this for for a point of Okay? So, for first lens, for first lens, by lens formula, formula, having focal length from here to this is smaller and second lens having focal length from this point to point F is capital. Clear? is 1 upon f is equal to distance of image minus v as we have 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u it is clear or not now the first lens formed image at i i dash so distance of image is v dash and minus distance of o it is clear or not Clear? Now for second lens, for second lens, by lens formula, we get from here 1 upon capital. You can also let focal length of first lens is F1 and focal length of second lens is F. Okay, we are using here small letter of capital letter for the focal length. So, image formed by the second lens at I, which is at V distance, okay, and minus image formed by the first lens, that is 
1 upon v. It is clear or not? This we have equation side. Now, yes? Wait, this one? See, the image and object in the same side. So, object is what? This. Initially object at one side and image is other side. So, we are using positive and negative sign. Okay? We are so. Secondly, when the image formed by the second lens, then both are in the same side. So, we are using this negative but V positive because the actually image formed by the combination of this object O. Clear or not? That is why we are using positive. Okay, it is clear. Then after, by adding, adding equation one and two. Okay, what we get? One upon f plus one upon capital F is equal to. Here, this value cancel by this, and we get the result. 1 upon v minus 1 upon v. Okay, this is equation term. And according to lens formula, this is the focal length of the combination of lens. So, one minute. Okay, this is F2. This is F1, so this is F1, this is F2, F1 and this F2. This we are using because the combination focal is using as capital. Okay? Therefore, by lens formula, 1 upon F is equal to 1 upon V minus 1 upon U. Therefore, from equation term. What we get? 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon f1 plus 1 upon f2. This is the condition of combination or final focal length of combination of two lenses. Okay. Now, second what we have? Power of n. Power of this is required for okay. Now, what is power of lens? So, power of lens is ability of lens to conserve the image, okay, or towards the lens or form it to easy to see okay or we say it is the measurement of reciprocal of focal that is t is 1 upon f here we are i am using here one thing f in meter okay therefore unit will become minus inverse of meter this is known as capital D or C diopter. This is the unit of power of lens diopter. Okay. And in centimeter, power of lens is 100 upon F and here I am using in centimeter. It is clear or not? Usually the object is near to us and in centimeter. So we are using this visual form. But if the object is few meters, then we are using this visual f is equal to 1 upon. Okay. Now from equation k, this is most important here. This will done. Now according to equation k in the combination, what we observe here? 
that 1 upon s is equal to 1 upon f1 plus 1 upon f2 by using the power formula Lacy proper of total in case power that the combination power is P1 plus P2 over I1 so what you observe from here that whenever we combine the length the power will increase in the linear order ok and what happened with the focal length focal length decrease because it is harmonic sum of the focal length of each lens secondly very important part two important ok that focal length four convex focal length four convex lens is positive so power is also positive ok so if phase one if two lens combine to each other having the same nature two lens combine having same nature having same nature ok either focal length or convex length or concave in concave power is positive and increase ok and secondly we have focal length of concave length is negative if we take a combination of convex or concave then power will decrease as our convenience it is clear P4 P concave convex plus P concave decrease and here power is also nice it is clear this is all about the combination of lenses and their this and second magnification what we have magnification in the case of magnification magnification when we combine the lenses it is product of the magnification produced by each ok for magnification this is m1 m2 m3 and so on which means as we combine the lenses in the same nature the magnification is the product of the magnification produced individual magnification produced by each which means magnification also increase okay thank you